Okay, so we decided to do 10 turkeys in the road. My name is Alexis Brown. I'm Mary Beth Atwell. And I'm Rachel Mall. So, 10 turkeys on the road is actually a really funny story. It's about a farmer and 10 turkeys. Um, when they're all the way through the book, the turkeys keep interrupting the farmer's drive home in hilarious ways, and then they one flies away. In the end, the turkeys end up stealing the farmer's truck, and he has to get picked up by a car full of pigs where they go to the turkey circus. But in the end, he's happy and loves the show. The author is Brenda Sturgis, and she is not only author but also a poet. She's done a lot of traveling because she was in the United States Air Force, and in 2008, she actually decided to publish 10 Turkeys on the Road. Um, she lives in Maine with her husband, children, and grandchildren. So for our math connections, we, for the Virginia SOL, we decided to go for SOLK4. That is, the student will be able to count backwards from 10. The common core standard that aligns with that is the student will know number names and the count sequence. So our math lesson, the main objective is for the students to be able to count backwards from 10 using concrete objects. So for the beginning, we would first do a picture walk of 10 turkeys in the road, and then we would read the book. We have a read aloud listed for you right there of the book. For the middle of the lesson, we would laminate 10 small cutout turkeys, and they would be numbered 1 through 10. There is a picture on the side of what that would look like. We would hand out one turkey to 10 students on the rug, and then we would have the students stand up in front of the class and arrange themselves in numerical order from 10 starting on the right, on the left, to one on the right. If any trouble arises and if the kids start getting in the wrong order, we would have the students on the rug help aid the other students in getting in the right order. We really liked this because all of the kids would just be super engaged and active. Uh, the kids on the rug We'll have to keep focused on the kids in line to make sure they're getting in the right orders, and then the kids in line have to make sure that they themselves are in the right order. We would repeat this until every student has participated, and for the end, uh, students would complete a picture sort of turkeys, numbered 1 through 10. We would have them cut out the turkeys and glue them in the correct sequence, again, starting on the left, the 10, to the end on the right, the 1. For our global understanding and recognizing perspectives, we are focusing on four countries. These countries are China, Italy, India, and Brazil. Um, us as teachers, we will provide pictures of these countries and the farmlands that they have. Um, while we are giving them the assignment of these four countries, we want them to be able to locate and identify the countries, and we also want them to investigate farming in other countries. As we are giving them the pictures, we would like them to look at it closely and um, answer these questions for themselves. How does farming look different in these countries? What items do you see being farmed? What looks familiar in each farm? And what looks different on each farm? To connect and integrate with our students, we will have them work together to share their ideas about um, their investigation questions. Um, as a whole group, we want to discuss these ideas because we want every student to be able to participate and say their ideas and also to listen to everybody else. The students will use the picture that we have provided as their evidence and share their knowledge um, of what they found. To, to communicate and take action, uh, the students will create a small school garden and share the food with local shelters. Here are some pictures um, that we would provide for the students. We chose China, Italy, India, and Brazil. We chose these countries specifically because they look very different in their farming. The students would be able to see differences easily, and if they look closer, see some similarities between um, the farming that they see here in Virginia. For our global lesson, the main question we will ask is how is farming different in other countries? So the first thing we will do is share a video um, that is linked down below. And in this video, it is pictures of farming from around the world. So it's just giving the students an idea that farming is different everywhere and not everything is how it seems it is here in Virginia. Um, we will then give them the pictures that we have made of the farmlands in China, Brazil, Italy, and India so that they can investigate these pictures. The students will then develop questions on why things may look different. And based on the research they are doing together, um, they'll create an overall idea of why it is different for the farming in these countries. And at the end, we will do, a students will create a small school garden and donate the food to local shelters. And here are the resources that we have from all of um, our sites and the information that we have.
All right, thank you. Um, I wanted to let you know several um, folks may be looking for the links. We had to upload our slides as JPEGs. So at the end of the presentation, I will share